you know, see some of the greatest runners in the world where their times are so, so fast, world record setting times where I'm looking at it going, that could be faster. I think the best thing Richard ever told me was that I run like shit. I hated the guy because he didn't give me the numbers I wanted to hear. I don't know what to tell you. I just, uh, that's how I roll and some people it works for, some people it doesn't. So one leg's leading ahead of the other, which is what I caught with you. Difference being that he's a little further back, you're forward, right? I was running a 242 marathon when I met him, and he basically revealed to me that the reason that I was, wasn't running faster was because I just could be more efficient with the running. I believe, and I think that science will support it, that there is a way to run. How am I going to get these humans to move better, to understand their approach to training. The closer you make contact to, the, to your body with the ground, the more stable or quicker you become stable. Stride it out, make it look stupid. Get those knees way up. Get those elbows punching. Through the gait analysis, we identify the flaws in the way they move, and then we make that information known, share the information with them through video analysis. And then we set about making the corrections. See that? Check it out. Spot on. Cool. Yeah, when I do a clinical evaluation of someone's metabolism, and I'm able to see how their body responds to the work that I've exposed them to, then we can start making decisions about how they should be trained. Every time I put somebody on that cart, I learn something else. Yeah. Yeah, he's done. When I got into triathlon, triathlon was very new. I just started chipping away at it, and before you know it, I found myself involved in, in competing in the events. I've run some marathons, I've done okay, I'm mean, nothing crazy. My first introduction to OCR was Hunter McIntyre. He just completely shifted my mind from this grind mentality to this science. And all of a sudden, this layer of science raised my whole game. They're getting what would happen between obstacles. Typically, this is about a half mile run here. Then they hit a hill. Then they have loads or carries they have to do. Uh, when they're fatigued, getting them on complex terrain like this, uh, gets them conscious of their footing, and then overloading them on these hills and just basically fatiguing them and then trying to keep them on top of the running form. So you can see even still right now, as they're coming right now, contact point's good. One visit, man, I got these people all landing well. Keep going, dude. You know where it's at. Keep going, show them where it's at. And I came to a point where I thought that this thing is growing like wildfire, and I don't think it's gonna go away. I like what it's doing to people. I like how people are influenced by the type of activities that they're, they're engaged in. Um, what do I do when I do? I love what I do. You know, I mean, it's not like I'm working. I'm doing this because I love doing it. If I was to become a, a billionaire tomorrow, I probably wouldn't stop doing what I'm doing. I just cut back on it a lot. <laughs>